Oh, you've got to love that. Just when you get a day off that you can start pulling the air conditioners apart. Mother Nature decides to take a piss on you again. This wasn't supposed to come in until past midday, but it's already raining at 9 o'clock. I don't have a battery cordless anymore because the other yellow one blew up and I don't want to use a 240 volt power drill out in the rain. So, uh, yeah, this might wait another week or two. It sort of sucks, I need the money. I've got a few coils I can cash in, but I want to do it all at once. See if we can break the $300 mark. Probably even even more, maybe $400. Only thing is you've got to put down an ABN when you do that. It's an Australian business number for taxation reasons. So yeah, it's only raining lightly, but hopefully it doesn't last long. The radar is showing a growing cell of bad weather though. Yeah, there's a lot of copper in that one. I love these big units. Take a bit to clean it, but it'll work. Different electronic expansion valves, there's two of them there. There's a um, liquid distributor, suction line accumulator. Hmm. What next in this constant parade of interruptions? That day can break my last screwdriver bit. I just had to run out and get some more. Those screws are remarkably tight, so I think I'll be using a socket on them. They're like a roofing screw with a, a cross recessed head, but um, yeah, cross recess is like for service techs with big chunky screwdrivers, not these brittle or hardened things attached to a power drill. So I've got that, and I've got another little extension too, so they can snap in and get down into the bottom of the cabinet without too much trouble. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's strange how this thing dumps pressure from the discharge side, which is here. Um, it dumps it down through this line, or well, the line comes out of the uh, vessel, goes through this little thing of a bob. It's a, it's got something in it, you can see little crimp marks. Refrigerant pipe assembly RZQ160PV4A. Um, October 2006. So, I'm seeing it's only 2006 model. It's pretty new. And it dumps it through the solenoid valve, through capillary tube. Or oh, no, sorry, that's a bypass. That's a constant feed through there, back to the suction line. And that's a sudden dump. If it really wants to dump it, it'll open that solenoid valve and then really take a dump into the suction line. So it's probably dumping oil back to the compressor. It's kind of a way of guaranteeing oil return but it's added complexity. There's a uh, the mister on there. That's a discharge temperature or something. There's another line going to the compressor there through that. Another solenoid valve. There's a one, two, three lines on this compressor. That one's discharge though. That's suction. That's miscellaneous. Maybe oil return as well. Could be another suction side. It's a thermistor in there or a thing, a temperature sensor. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to rip this thing apart before the weather changes. I've still got all these to go. Yeah, a lot of rodent activity in this unit. It's mouse nest material. There's poop on everything. Might have contributed to the failure of the inverter if they got in there. It's green. It's from uh, rat poison. Nasty. Slowly coming apart there. Coils out. Yeah, I think I found one of the former inhabitants. He looks a little bit dead. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, thank God this one's over. You can stay on there and go to the scrapyard. And move through this lot next. That still works. The portable still works. I'm going to keep them. Keep that. And the rest of it's all scrap. I'll do a special video on how to dismantle an indoor unit and I'll do one on how to scrap an outdoor unit like start to finish, what to look for, what to remove, what to leave that sort of thing there's another Fujitsu inverter it's been out open to the weather for a while so it's pretty much rooted yeah, slowly getting there thankfully the weather's sort of settled down and it's actually come quite good 
So I've just got to keep on going. Window units can be a pain in the ass. Some of them are really easy to pull apart like this one. Three screws and yank the coil out. I think it's six on the back one and that's it. But some of them are a real pain to get to. So finish this one off. There was a Fujitsu that had a buggered reversing valve. I won't bother saving the fan motor or compressor out of it, it's too hard to get them out. I'm going to collect enough motors and compressors to blow up. Nearly there. Still got another six to go. This Dakin's so badly rusted I couldn't get the screws out so the nine inch grinder had its way with it. It's kind of quick and easy. That's the quickest way to get the coil out, just cut, cut around the outside, pull the coil out and chuck the rest. That's if you don't have time to strip them down for the extra copper. But I've got time, I'm going to strip all these down 100%. This one might be the same, it's pretty rusty. Another DC inverter Dakin piece of shit. I don't like these ones, 